before anything, I just want to clarify. I'm not wearing my regular white t-shirt today. I'm pretty sure you guys will probably notice that in comment. Uh, the reason for that is because I'm doing laundry. I'm washing my whites today. And I have 60 of those t-shirts. They're all from the same brand. And uh, they are all from... They're all white. And they all look identical. Not, they, not even a seam is different. And I buy them because I wear them as an undershirt. Every day after I come from my run, and I, I shower and stuff like that, I put on a fresh one on, and I have six of them, so it, it lasts me about two months, and I do my laundry, my whites, I wash them every two months, and I put bleach on it and everything, and I keep them nice and white, so that's how that works, so you guys know why I'm not wearing my white t-shirt today. Produced by Malik. What's going on fish people? Welcome back to Aqua Malik. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys my top three favorite plague or dither fish. So these are going to be three types of fish that I find are the most for me personally to have in my plague or tanks. So I'm going to categorize them not in terms of species, but in terms of, of types of fish. So like watch till the end you don't want to miss out this video and also if you haven't subscribed subscribe right now and hit that notification icon because every single day you're gonna get one of these videos from me so there's a whole bunch of cool videos and yesterday's video I believe is quite important because I showed you guys how what I do to save my female plecos the video was shot at night after the lights have gone off in this part of the fish rooms it's not the best quality video in terms of lighting but it is to give you an idea of this something that I am actually doing and you guys got to follow along the video with me. So thank you everybody that has watched the video and if you haven't, I'll put a link to it at the end so you guys can check that out. So in today's video, we're going to be looking at the top three play code either fish. So without further ado, I'll pick up the camera, move you guys close to the tank so you guys can see the fish. So on number three on our list of the best dither fish for your fancy play codes, I'm going to choose tetras. These guys are green neon tetras. There's a flame tetra right there. And I just scared him. I only have the one. I had 12 of them in here, but the other 11 passed away from old age. But the good thing about tetras in general is that they can tolerate a lot of the higher temperatures our plecos also require. So for example, these green neon tetras can tolerate a temperature from 18 degrees Celsius up to 32 degrees Celsius which translates to about 64 degrees Fahrenheit to about 90 degrees Fahrenheit. So they have a very wide range of temperature tolerance, this particular species. So these are green neon tetras, but even other tetras can tolerate, rummy nose tetras can also tolerate quite warm temp temperatures. So just do some research, find out what temperature your plecos need to be at, and then find out fish that can live in that temperature range out of this genus. That's what I think is the best option when you are looking for a specific type of fish. But in general, tetra seem to make great dither fish for your fancy pleco tanks. That's the next reason why I picked tetras is because they're not, they're relatively inexpensive. These guys, for example, they sell for about three to four dollars Canadian in Canada. I actually did not buy these. I, uh, these were a gift from my friend Jason. But essentially, they're not that expensive. You can own 50 of those guys if they're $2 for $100. So if you have a Playco that's $100, or you have 10 Playcos that are $100, like these uh, L471s that are like, you know, quite expensive, and uh, you want to have something nice in the tank, you can go buy a school of cardinals or something like that for $2 each times 50 of them. So you have 50 beautiful fish in your tank to look at and it also makes your plecos quite comfortable. It makes them quite active and that's one of the reasons why you can see all these guys are always ch ch chilling and out and looking at me and uh, they're not afraid. They come out, see there's a little fry on the bottom there. If you guys can see it, my fingers pointing at it and uh, that's a big spot, you know. So these are very nice fish and they're quite friendly and uh, I believe one of the biggest parts of that is these fish right here. Some of the other tetras I have in my pleco tanks are these red Colombian tetras. So these guys were actually born here. I have a parent group. So they are in a tank behind me and these guys are about two months old and I have about 25 or 30 of these guys in here. And I really like them because they're quite active and they can tolerate the high current that this tank has. Uh, long term, I don't know what the effects are because the parents are not in tanks like this. I keep them in very low flowing tanks for breeding purposes, but 
in this tank, they're growing out and they are doing great right now. And I believe that they're okay with the current, as long as it's not like crazy high. But in here, it's about 175 gallons per hour. It's a 35 gallon tank or 36 to 37 gallon tank. So they are doing well in the tank right now. So I'm quite happy with them. And I've had the parent group for about three years now and I've been successfully breeding them for that time. And I really like these fish because they also breed quite easily. You don't need to do anything. They're just, I, I find fry in the parent tank. It's quite easy actually. So I really like this particular variety of tetras. But again, do your research and pick the ones you think are gonna work with your particular fish based on your own requirements. Some of the other tetras I have are like these cardinals. So these are the cardinal tetras and uh, these are large ones. I really like these guys. I had more but these are some of the older ones that are left over. They're probably about three, four years old now and uh, they are great as well. They, these guys can tolerate some of the warmer temperatures and that's one of the main reasons I have these particular fish and uh, they're also relatively inexpensive. I mean the, the red Colombian tetras sell for about $9 Canadian and the cardinal tetras sell for anywhere between $2 to $4 Canadian depending on the size. At this size you're probably looking at like $5 because these guys are quite large. They're like breeding size adults, you know, and they, these guys might have been born here. I do have some production of these uh, in my back tanks and stuff, but it's not to the point where I can commercially make any money off of them. I just have them for my personal pleasure and I, they do breed for me to, to keep the colony going type of deal. So that's great. On number two on the list, I believe these are the probably the best species for your Placos in terms of compatibility are your Corridoras. I really like this particular variety of Corridoras. These are the CW045. I have eight of them in here, or I believe seven now because I lost one when there was an ick outbreak a few months back. If you haven't checked out that video, I highly recommend checking that out. I'll put a link to it up here at some point so you guys can check that out but these guys are stunners and they are spawning in this tank one of the things to consider when you are keeping corridoras with your placos is that not all corridoras can handle the warmer temperatures that your placos might require for example these are the cw049 these guys can tolerate a little bit warmer temperatures and they are doing well i've had these guys for about three years in this tank um, I've only moved them to try to get them to spawn in the winter so I'm gonna try that this year as well so they do get a winter break but usually they seem to be okay with the 85, 84, 85 degree temperature that this tank is in all year round. Now other uh, corridors might not be okay with that type of temperature so do some research and find out what type of fish would work well for your particular t tank based on the placo species that you are keeping. So this type of information is available online. A very good resource is scottcat.com. I do have some contributions on the website in terms of photos and stuff. These are the Corridoras Elegance. I have a group of 10 in here and they are quite stunning. I got these from Jason as well. And uh, I really like these fish. I want to get them spawning and I've only had them for about a month and a half, two months now. They just came out of quarantine and they're growing out with the different hype ancestors fry. There's about 75 different hype ancestors fry in this tank. You might see a little bit of movement underneath the leaves pile and stuff like that. They're all under Number here. one on the list I believe are live bearers. These guys here are endless live bearers but you can use any type of guppy or small types of other types of live bearers mainly because they there's three reasons why I like these because they are active fish they're very active, they're not skittish at all, they're very friendly, which makes the placos come out way more than any other fish. And secondarily, they can tolerate a wide variety of temperatures and water parameters. So whatever type of water you're gonna have in your placo tank, you can bet that these guys will do great in that tank. So that's the second reason why I like them. And thirdly, they're quite cheap and uh, they reproduce quite easily and so you can have a huge group of them in your placo tank and imagine like a hundred of these males and like a couple of females imagine how beautiful that looks in a tank even having like 10 or 12 of these guys look look how gorgeous this is i'm mesmerized just standing even here. through the camera lens they look stunning so i really enjoy them and i i believe that's why i pick live bearers as number one so you can get go as high as the hundred dollars a pair type of guppies or you can go as cheap as these guys you know i paid ten dollars for 20 of these i believe for me he was my friend so he hooked me up but still they're, they're not that expensive and they're quite relatively inexpensive to get they're easy to keep and they're a great indicator species if anything was to go wrong in this tank these guys would get affected quite fast so that also helps out quite a bit thank you so much for watching the video till the end if you find value in this type of content 
give this video a thumbs up. Also, there's a lot of cool content coming up, so subscribe and hit that notification icon so you get updated when all those cool videos get uploaded. I'm doing a daily vlog every single day, and there's going to be all these cool videos in between coming out. So stay tuned for all those, and as always, thank you so much for your love and support. I'll see you on the next video. God bless you all.